Hey everybody, thanks for watching this tutorial video. Right now I'm going to show you a new Tableau 10 feature uh, using custom territories. Now this is really exciting because this is a feature that people have been asking about for a long time, so it's really cool that they were able to implement this. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll just click on our sample Superstore save data source over here. And really quick, I'm just going to show you what, what we could have done before to achieve sort of the same effect, but, uh, but also kind of the reason why uh, people were wanting these custom territories. So before, let's say that we have a map of the states here, and I went ahead and made it a filled map. We could, we could color by region, and so now you see that uh, you know, we have four different regions over here, central, east, south, and west, and, and all the states are colored by which region they're in. But you notice that all these states are still individually boxed around so that whenever I click on one or hover over, it shows me just the information for that one state. So if I were to drag profit out here to label, this would be the profit per state. So if we wanted to, we could do something like you know, put region out here, and then let's uh, let's drag out sales and profit, and then we could we could create a we could create a dashboard here, and set this to automatic, and we could use this bar chart over here once we set up our dashboard actions to filter according to the region. So here we have West and we have profit and sales by the West region. We can click on West here and we get just the Western states over here. So this is kind of something that we could have done before in, uh, in Tableau 9. But now let me, let me take a minute to show you two different ways that we can do custom territories in Tableau 10. All right, so let's go ahead and clear this sheet. So I'll go ahead and start just like I did before by double clicking state and then I'll make this a filled map here. So now let's say that I want to create roughly the same regions as before. Um, I'll start over here by selecting these. So I just select some states that I want to turn into their own custom territory. Now I'll go here to the, uh, to the set option so I can click that. And you'll notice that we have the option to group by country or state and country. And so, you know, since we only have the U.S., I'm actually just going to go ahead and drag country off of that. All right, so now we can just group these. We only have one geographic uh, field on there, state, so I can group those. And you'll notice that, uh, that our grouping pops up over here, and also we now have this new dimension called state group that's keeping track of these different groups for us. So you notice that these are blue, and then all the other ones that we haven't grouped yet are still gray. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and select you know, these, and we'll, we'll create another group out of this, and it'll, you know, it'll just keep adding it to the state group that we already have. Uh, now let's, let's select these right here and maybe maybe this will be another group and then we'll go ahead and select the last ones here that we see and make this another group all right so now you see that these aren't these aren't perfectly like the uh, the region that we know but uh but it's pretty close and we have four different regions now the super easy way to get your custom territories is just take state and just drag it off and now you'll notice that these have a solid line surrounding them, just the, just the regions, not the individual states. So we can do things like drag profit out, and now the profit for all of these states combined shows up. Let's drag sales out as well. And let's go ahead and throw our group uh, on label too. And um, so you notice that now we have, the, uh, we have the profit and the sales and also the group here for all of these custom territories. Super cool. And we could go in and do more formatting uh, to these labels if we want. Uh, you'll notice that we still have this other right here. And that's actually, you know, let's look at our group and see what that is. So we'll edit group. You notice that uh, District of Columbia was just so tiny that we didn't select it. So we'll go ahead and drag that into this group here, which is kind of our Eastern group. And now you'll notice we just have our four distinct groups and we could rename these if we wanted as well. All right, so that's method number one. So now let me go ahead and show you method number two, which is even easier, actually before that. So region here, if we look at our data, we have a region for, uh, for every state, essentially. So if you look at this state, you know, Kentucky always falls in the south. 
Uh, California always falls in the West. So there's this nice mapping between these two fields. And we can take advantage of that in Tableau by right-clicking region, going down to geographic role, like we would usually do, and now there's this create from category down here. And we can, we can create a custom territory field from, uh, from state here. Or actually, it just even changes region to be that custom territory. So now we double click this, and let's go to field map again, and drag this on color. And you notice that now we have the same type of map that we created before with these custom territories but Tableau automatically creates it for us from region. And we can go ahead and do things like we'll drag this to label. So we have our, uh, our region label there and we'll go ahead and drag profit and sales on there as well. And now we can do cool things like let's look at our sales and profit by let's look at it by customer and we'll go ahead and go ahead and sort it top to bottom there and flip those axes and uh, we'll toss these onto a dashboard here add our dashboard actions And now what's really cool is that from this one map, we can go ahead and filter over to this other bar chart. So we can filter the whole western region from this one map, or the whole central region, the whole southern region. And we see all of these numbers here at a glance. And you can do this with anything. You can do it with states, you can do it with zip codes, whatever you want. Uh, the, the opportunities here are really, really endless, and we're hoping to dive more into that in a future tutorial video. But for now, Hopefully this is enough to get you started. All right, and have fun playing with custom territories now, new in Tableau 10. Thanks for watching.